She may be 70, but Maha Sibidi still produces award-winning artwork. This Gauteng Gogo started out as a domestic worker in the 1960s. But it wasn't easy being a black artist in South Africa at that time. She had to leave the country illegally for the world to see her paintings. To date, Makhabo has exhibited her work in several countries, including Australia, Chile and the U.S. The story of Makhabo Sibidi is one of self-upliftment. Coming from a small rural village in Amanskral, she helped her family with manual labor. Painting their home, Makhabo developed artistic skills. The grandmothers did work on the cow, on the dobe, which is uh, very important. The home was very important. They built it, the courtyards, they built it, houses. The thatch were built by men. And that's how we started, I, as children, started learning and helping our grandparents. In the 1960s, life was tough in Amanskral and Makhabo needed to quit her studies and look for employment. So when I found a job, that's where I was saved. The only way I should find a job was to find a domestic work because I would find a place to sleep. Makhabo followed in her mother's footsteps and found a job as a domestic worker in Johannesburg. But her new employers turned out to be racists who mistrusted black people. I remember being told that you're working like you own this house. I always wondered because I'm working very hard. I was very unhappy in Johannesburg because that treatment kept on growing. Eventually, she had enough and couldn't take the abuse any longer. She was lucky to find a new job with a German family who embraced her. One evening, Makhabo stumbled upon her employer doing something that reminded her of her childhood. I found her painting furniture. Then I knocked at it at her door. And then I says, why didn't you call me when you're painting furniture? She says, no, I thought you'd be so sorry. Then I sat down and started painting furniture with her. And that's the, the start of the art, because she was drawing on the furniture and painting. Makhabo realized she hadn't forgotten the skill she'd learned back home. She later met this man who directed her to a Joburg art studio where she could perfect her craft. It wasn't long before Makhabo started producing her own work. In 1977, she exhibited for the first time in Newbert Park, where she was discovered by scouts who took her to greater platforms. From this point onwards, Makhabo did art full-time, leaving the country illegally to showcase her work overseas. She was relatively unknown when I, when I met her first, um, but she had a weight of character that, that was extraordinary and, and a feeling of confidence about who she was and where she was going. Today, Makhabo is 70 years old, but hasn't lost her flair. Technically, she's extraordinary. Because she gives herself all the time that she needs to paint, they are slowly built up, layer after layer, each layer drying slowly over the course of weeks before other layers are added to it. And so it's a slow manipulation of, of the paint onto the canvas, um, which you can't do quickly if you're trying to achieve what she is. She has been recognized all over the world, including Europe, South and North America. But her greatest accolade here at home is the Order of Ikamanga, awarded to her by former president 
Thabombeki. That's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.